Guys, this is so unreal for me. Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, like I said, let me see if I, I forgot my intro. I think I forgot my intro. Forget it. Just forget it, guys. Bye. I gotta go. It is too much for me. <laughs> so, I mean, we're here with the first rap act that, I mean, bro, you guys put ATL on the map, making them the third coast of hip hop, influencing artists like Outkast, Future, Travis Scott, that kids go crazy for now. You know what I'm saying? Now. <laughs> This for me, this is, you guys, oh, to me, just as legends, just as big as Eminem, Jay-Z, the, I mean, in hip hop, a true pillar. And I just, and to see you guys do what you're doing through the years, like, let's be clear <laughs> from the jump of it all to now, this mm. is a true honor, guys. A true, true honor, and I thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, we got Goody Mob in the building. <laughs> I mean, in the Zoom house, right? Because I'm, you know, Zoom house. <laughs> Yay. I'm just seeing the love, and again, super honored. Um, okay, I want to start it all out. You guys came into the scene, and I want to hear about the start of it all. When you guys started out, and you came in with the jazz and the soul and that funk. And you mixed it all together as a group. Talk to me about that. That very, the first, the beginning of it all. Uh, I guess we can start with um, with Southern Playlist of Cadillac Music. Uh, you will hear uh, Timo Goody and uh, Cujo Goody uh, sharing a song with um, 3000 and Big Boy called Call of the Wild. And, and then, then you hear, uh, yeah, and CeeLo, that's right. Appreciate you, um, bro, bro. And then you hear, <laughs> Then you hear a song called Get Up, Get Out and Get Something with featuring CeeLo and Big Gil, along with Outkast, our little brothers, man. So, you know, that's when the world kind of really heard about the Goody Mob, you know what I'm saying? And right now, you know, it's it's, it's all history what we got going on. Anybody want to chime in on that? Go ahead, Mo. Yeah, I just want to say that, you know, we, we were honored to and blessed to be a part of the Organized Noise, you know, humble beginnings. And the entire movement, you know, um, Rico Wade extended his home to us. His mother, you know, was kind and generous enough to allow a lot of strange looking guys to come inside her house and listen to music and rap and eat and be friends with everybody and have a good time, scream, laugh, cry, you know, kick it together. You know, we, we became a family. That's why we named ourselves the Dungeon Family because we knew it was bigger than just a regular normal friendship. You know what I'm saying? We, um, we took advantage of, of a time where Atlanta didn't have a music scene that was com commercialized or, or um, international or national. We didn't have a national music scene. We had a localized music, music scene at that particular time and um, organized noise had to connect. You know, they were connected to LaFace Records. LaFace Records was connected to Arista and you know, Arista was the hub. I mean, BMG was the master. BMG was the one that was that was giving all the money at the time and and blessing LaFace with the um with the opportunity to be able to to put out music that they believed in. You know what I mean? We we good tomorrow was right on time. You know what I mean? It was put together organically, and and we still here organically. Thanks. Thanks. Seriously, yeah. I mean. Organic I can go on for on and on. Organic but is an understatement because <laughs> <laughs> because it's only the organic things and the genuine things, right, that last and That's that become. I mean, even even making it to that top, staying there. That's the right. way music has changed, the levels of music, the genres of music that has came out, and you guys haven't, you know, even you st truly stuck to the sound. Mm. We're loving it. Even okay, I'm I'm already jumping to. What's now? But I'm like, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. So now when it comes to ATL, you already, we already spoke about that. We spoke about ATL. We spoke about the scene. Now I want to know a mantra or something you guys believed in that kept you guys together or something that when things got tough, you guys said, remember, we always said this was this and that was that. And this is what's going to take us to that next step. Can you share something like that with me? Mm. Come on, Gil. 
I, th I think I think that all goes back to the, the acronym of Billy Mob. Just the good die mostly over bullshit. You take one all away. That means God is in every man of blackness. And I think that with us starting out with such a powerful statement, I think it 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 it, it stayed with us even when we was apart in, in different stages of our career. You know what I mean? Even when we were doing other things, it always we was always connected to it. We always say we got it in our skin. So it, we can't run and hide. It is what it is. It don't matter where we are. We look down in our skin and we see that G mug. And it's like, hey man, we we belong to somebody. <laughs> so that's what's always kept it in my mind, no matter what I never did. And I think that that, that goes for all of us. Wow. I right. love it. Love it, love it, love right. it. Right. <laughs> um, okay. I'm like, guys, you guys, I'm like really jittery over here. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta let loose. I gotta let loose. <laughs> okay, so now, what do you guys think has kept you guys in the game? And I don't want to use the word relevant because that, for legends like you guys, it's not about staying relevant. But what do you guys think has truly kept you guys to this day that I could turn some, the, the song you guys, just, you see I'm moving forward to the next, the song you guys just dropped is so timeless. Everything you guys have dropped is so timeless. Talk to me about that. I think what has what has allowed us to continue on is a willingness, um, a daringness, uh, an audacity, and an innate ability, and a deep sense of appreciation for opportunity, uh, for community, for culture, and a want um, and desire to truly contribute and, and really be a part of it. Not to be competitive, but to coexist. You know what I mean? Um, and better the balance, you know? Um, and I think that there's a, a, a lot of humility in that. And it may be, you know, it may be considered that Southern hospitality, that, that way of which we were reared and brought up. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, we're very humble and we're very appreciative, um, but very focused um, and very uh, committed to craft. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so it gives us a license to embellish on, you know, the truth that is at our core. You know what I mean? Like we're just good, good guys. You know what I mean? And um, you know, but you know, in a, in an art capacity, you know what I mean? We get a chance to just embellish and color and outside the lines and think outside the box um, in order to, you know, solidify uh, and signify who we are as individual artists, but also to inspire and show and prove by example of what we are capable of as a culture. Oh my God, that's so true. And it brings it back to the first, the, the first thing you said, you know, bring, coming up like brothers and just keeping that family aspect. And it's just truly unique and genuine. And I mean, okay, now you guys are working on, we're, we're fast forwarding to the now and we're working on survival kit and you guys drop the first Oh my goodness, it's so fire. Like, um, okay. Right. <laughs> Public enemy, like, come on, this is so Mama. fire. <laughs> Talk to me about the making of this and what's going into this, because I mean, this is on another level. It's also, now we talk about the now, we're talking about what we're going through now as a society, as a culture, you know, what we're living through right now. Not to mention the fact that the pandemic we're going through, you guys oh, yeah. are coming together to make this project. Cause there's a lot of little things. There's a, there's a few different pandemics we're going through right now in life, you know? And right. I feel like you guys took this and calling it survival kit, you know, being such a, a pillar in the, in the culture and knowing that it's something we need as a culture. This is something we truly need even down to the title. Please talk to me. Give me all the insight about it, please. <laughs> it, it's back on you, Joe. <laughs> um, well, survival kit really, to me, man, it's like uh, something that you need in a time of emergency. You feel what I'm saying? So even if you are going through some type of pandemic, you still need something to, to soothe, to, to calm yourself. So music could definitely be inserted into a survival kit. You know what I'm saying? Along with what we got going on now where you might have like some gloves in your survival kit, 
You might have a mask in your survival kit. You might have that PPE in your survival kit. You know what I mean? So we just thought that we would kind of like, just kind of like put everything into, into that type of uh, medium as far as like what people need. So that's why we dropped the Are You Ready with Chuck D in there for Public Enemy because you know what I'm saying? They've always been calling us the baby Public Enemy of the South. You know what I mean? Yep. It was just, it was just only right, man, that we reached out to one of the godfathers of conscious rap, you know what I'm saying, Chuck D, you feel me? So it was it, it was awesome, man. I, I mean, it, I wish you could have been there to see that thing, man. We didn't get a chance to have him in the studio, but just the the um just the cohesiveness, man, and the, and the electricity and what we were doing out of here, man. For sure. Oh my. What's your say, and, Z? Yeah, and it's like, are, are you ready? You know what I mean? Like, you know, that's a, you know, that's, a question for the ages. I mean, like that's a question for the era now. Are you ready to face uh, the un unforeseen future? You know what I mean? Like, are you ready? Are you prepared? Are you prepared on the mental, on the physical, on an economic, on the social? You know what I mean? Like on a critical level. You know what I mean? Like, are you ready? You know what I mean? That's not a question we are asking you. It's a question you should be asking yourself. Mm. I've been I've been waiting for an anthem to drop of some sort, and for me, hearing I was. I'm telling you, I listen, the first time I listened to it was four times in a row. I was like, I'm ready. I'm, if they're asking me, I'm ready. <laughs> that's right, sis. Right. right. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it, it's, that's, our, that's our thing, man. It's always been our motto is to at least uh, lead the people with something that they can relate to. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can remember Rico Wade telling us, man, if you're in front of a cameraman or whatever you do, man, just have something to say. And I think that's kind of like how we don't, you know what I'm saying, survive the test of time, being that this is our 25th year anniversary of Soul Food. This is this is just us, you know what I mean? This is how we do it. We, we make it sound good, and we put a few jewels in that thing too, man, that hopefully will last another 25 years. Oh, man. And, then, and going back to what you were saying too, as you were saying a survival kit, music has always been, for me, growing up in the hood, it was, we, we take to it so much. I'm also a teacher and I'm a high school teacher and my kids, you know, when they're able to just put their headphones on, they work so much more better, you know what I'm saying? They're not bothering me. They're able to just go now. And just so for you guys to take that aspect and to remind the world of where we stand in hip hop, and you look so young, you got so much energy. I would have thought that you were just in high school. Nope. <laughs> I know, I know it's all these musics, guys. Like, I'm uh, in, in, in. I, I have that same charm, too, the, the, uh, the Hamza. Yeah, the Hamza. I'm so into anything faithful. I'm a Catholic, yeah. but at the end of the day, anything that throws out good energy, I want to wear it. So I'm like, everything, yeah. all of them, the same, the cross, the Hamza. <laughs> Really? Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. What were you saying? No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So just going back to, you know, how important it is that hip hop has, you know, we look, we look to it as a survival kit. We look to it to hear. I want to hear what you guys are talking about because I want to know that I'm not the only one going through this. You know, I'm not the only one suffering in this way. Or I'm not the only one. Or where I am in life, I'm going to get to a better place in life. And these, these moments, these songs, this, this music is what... It's what reminds us about that, especially for the kids right now, yes. you know? So, I mean, it's everything to hear Survival Kid and to hear you guys and to hear, you know, the little aspects that went into it to bring this to what it is right now. It's truly, truly amazing. Truly amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate oh my God, okay. A moment, a moment, I'm, now I'm lost. Where are we? Okay, I mean, what's next for Goody Mob? Oh man! What's not next? What about single currently in Avenger or like a comic book series or like a, <laughs> a movie? <laughs> Come on, CeeLo. I know you got scripts written. No, we we actually we actually do, and not to speak in too much detail. You know what I'm saying like, because it's still um, you know um, a, a work in progress. But yes, we got some some really uh, large aspirations and some grand opportunities to uh, to further, you know what I mean? Like, you know, the, the message and movement, push it forward, you know, um, and then, you know, um, establish ourselves in other territories and set up shop there. So we haven't done animation, but um, 
you know, there's an, there's an opportunity on the table as we speak to, to do so. So that's funny that you said that because that is in our very near future, you know, to do something along those lines. But, you know, the matter at hand is music. And first and foremost, we just want to, you know, address the audience that's listening that you've gathered, you know, here today, you know, under the sound of our voices and just have them, you know, be made aware that, you know, the single Are You Ready is in, is in stores. Well, not physically in stores, but on all of the streaming platforms. Um, right. And then also, um, you know, for those who have, you know, been on this journey with us, uh, you know, they should also be aware that we're celebrating our 25th year anniversary, you know. Um, and so we want to make sure that, you know, the, the audience has had the, that, that, that unconditional love, that affinity for Goody Mob, that we are, you know, we are still, you know, continuing and fighting the good fight. And for those who are just kind of getting turned on to us as far as this new generation, Man, if you go out and check out Are You Ready and you fit in that, you mean like you can retrace our roots back to early 1995, you know, to yeah. original Dungeon Family when we first came in. And go check out Soul Food, check out Southern Playlistic, check out ATLs, check out Still Standing, check out World Party, check out Age Against the Machine, check out One Monkey Don't Stop No Show, check out Stank On You, everything that we've really done and contributed. Check out Norris Barkley, any of that stuff, because it's all Dungeon Family. Thanks. And it's all so timeless. I mean, I go back and I hear, and it's just truly timeless. Today, I was listening before I was getting in the mood. I was getting in my goody mob mood. And it was from the new oh, go, to the old. Oh, if, if, if you go check out Timo's South Got Something to Say, the South Saying Something. Check out Mute My Frame. Check out Echoes of a Legend. We got so much work on the block. We got so <laughs> much work on the block. <laughs> <laughs> what your shirt says over there? Just do it. Oh, just do it. The South is saying something. Okay. <laughs> hey, you are. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. <laughs> Mama. Hey, love, you know, love, just looking for, just look for some more, um, you know what I'm saying? Some more rebranding. You know what I'm saying? A, a goody mob, man. Look, look for some new images. We got all of us got um got clothing lines that we're we we're doing right now. Goody Mob has clothing lines, man. So you can check check out Gilp Goodies. You can check out Five Five Delish. You know what I mean? You can go check out CeeLo Punches, um, his his bio and check out um T Mo. You see it right there. You see that see that big old, see that big old shoulder right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strong show. Yeah, we try to play it right now. It's about branding. We learned one thing growing up and growing up in this industry, you know, and nobody else going to toot your horn but you. You know, right. nobody care about it like you care about it. So if we don't push it, it won't get pushed. You know what I mean? So we definitely are well aware of that. And, you know, big up to my brothers, you know, for us all supporting each other because that's how we win at the end of the day. And that's how we lead by example. You know what I'm saying? Forget rapping about it. Rapping is cheap. If you ain't living it, then it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know, by us showing that we live in it, we walking it, not not just talking it, you know what I'm saying? The kids don't really be able to, to connect with that a lot better. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we try to do, man. I love these guys. And I'm so happy to be on a Zoom call with them. Hey, but them, bro, my brother, my blood brothers right there, so. <laughs> Big up. Yo, I swear I could feel the love, the smiles, the laughs, the genuine, the balance between everybody talking, everybody know. Truly, yo, I'm in the mix. This is like the Brady Bunch, you know, the windows in the Brady Bunch? Yeah. <laughs> it's a story. Yeah. I'm like smack in the middle, loving this energy. Of a group named Goody. <laughs> yeah, I love it. There it is. <laughs> Yo, guys, I mean, I wanted to ask a memory that you guys can, that it hit for all of you. Because I know, okay, there's four different guys. There's, there had to be so many different. What was one time that you guys talk about it and you're like, bro, that was so fire. Or that was, is there a moment you guys could share with me? Well, I think an up-to-date moment for me will be when we was inducted into the Georgia Hall of Fame. Mm. The Georgia Music Hall of Fame. Yeah. I think I think that 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 really made 
everybody that I think raised us happy. Cause that's bigger than the Grammy. That's bigger than anything. Like we in there with Ray Charles. We we in there with all the great Georgia acts of of, of music. So for me, that was that's that was everything. That was everything. For sure. Man, I got a good. I got a great memory too. You know, and maybe this was, um, you know, like maybe a lot of people didn't get a chance to see this, but. One of the dopest things I ever think we did, you know what I mean, like was the um the performance on the voice. You know what I mean? Like when we did um, oh, yeah. um fight to win on the voice. Fight to it win. was just, I don't know, that was just great, man. It was just yeah. a great I, I love that. <laughs> Yo, and I, I'm putting that out there, man. Y'all go YouTube it, man. It's just so dope, man. It's just it's yeah. such a, a testament to 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 how, how dope we've been, man. I'm just so grateful for it, man. I'm humble, but I got to speak it like it's a fact, man. That's right, is, man. Like, that's right. We've we, 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 we done, we done some phenomenal things. Yeah, we've done some phenomenal things. We got to break them suits out, Lo. We got to yeah, break them suits out. I got them, too, I, I got them. I swear to God, I got them. <laughs> <laughs> they in storage, man. One moment for me, one moment for me, Timo Good, I say one of my most, like, memorable, loving, strongest moments was when my brother, man, you know, Lowe came back, man, we all came back together, man, like the straight up, you know, um, Megatron we are. We came and put it together down at the, uh, what was that? The, um, mm -hmm. Tabernacle. Chelsea Mill, you know, um, y'all know the one, the, uh, the, the one we did where it was raining. We did the concert in the rain. It was oh, like, the masquerade. 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 That masquerade. was great. It was people in the crowd like crying just to see us back together. They were smiling, happy. There was, I mean, it was a packed house in the rain. It was raining. They didn't even go nowhere. Listen to the whole show, man. It was awesome. It was that was awesome to me. Yeah, pretty good show. I remember. I got pictures of that one. Yeah, man. that's on my wall. Uh, Shit, that's Jody? tough. Y'all got, got, got some tough ones, man. Damn. I could, man, probably what I could say is uh, maybe the first mood that we was in, man. You know, <laughs> mystery man. Out of mystery man, man. That's, man, that shit was so, man, I, for number one, man, we ate good as hell, man. I was like, man, all this shit free? <laughs> I mean, we get to eat all this free, man? I mean, it was good eating every day. Like, I, think we, I think we met Pee Wee Herman. Uh, Jody Wiley, uh, yeah. Ben Stiller. Prize from Bluegies uh, was a good movie with us. Ben, ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. Keenan wow. and Kale. Who? Keenan and Kale. Yeah, Keenan and Kale, man. Oh, we, we actually met Michael Bay, too. Michael Bay, he was an extra. Remember, they was the one with the little the fraternity sweaters on with just the, yeah. you know, like a hat. Oh, yeah. He, what Michael Bay is he ended up directing all of those Transformers, so he's a, a super wow. big director now. We didn't know it then, but I remember meeting him. What was the guy um, named who had the fingernail? Who what was his name? The um the the, uh, the star of the show. He was the main. The not so good as my. His name is um his name is Jeffrey Rush. Wow. Count on my brother, see. <laughs> 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 That's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Rush, man. Well, I don't know how I'll be knowing that shit. I do not know, man. I swear, man. Uh, just stick with me. That's but look, but look, but look, but look, Miss Law. See, this is what you're getting the best representation of, man. Like, you know, we're we're just regular guys. We're down to earth, man. Like, we're not no saints, but we are servants. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we have been sent. We do have calling, and we do have purpose. You know what I mean? Like, we do have power. You know what I mean? But like we laugh and joke and kick it, you know, so like we we get we fall down and we get back up just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we want. We want people to see the spectrum, you know what I mean? Like the sonic spectrum and the soulful account. You know what I mean? Like uh four, you know, brothers, four good brothers, man, four human beings, man, like flawed but fearless. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, yeah. and I believe that's what's I think that's what our careers have always been about. And I think that's the good energy that just resonates with people, man. We got so much love. You know, the love is what kept us alive. You know what I mean? Like, we talking about survival kits. You know, the people, the love of the people, man, got to be in there. We got to have that. I mean, like, you know, I don't even know what to do with myself without that. I mean, like, so 
you know, we stay outside and we stay in the field, man, because that's where the love is at. I mean, like, and that's where the fight is at. You know what I mean? So, like, we on call. I love it. I love it. You guys, love you guys. Thank you. Thanks from the people to you. We thank you. We truly, thank truly you thank you guys. Thank you for your time. And thank you. I hope to meet you guys in person one day. <laughs> Where are you? I'm in Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. You know, I had to throw that in there. I couldn't just say New York. <laughs> uh, Brooklyn. <laughs> I will tell your students, tell your students the good and mob said, man. Keep your head up and keep it facing them books, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you guys again. Yeah.